YouTube for the YouTube Yahoos, right? This is the part for the YouTube Yahoos. All you YouTube, all you YouTube Yahoos, right? You want to learn the other God? YouTube, 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 right? All right. Now watch this. If I have, let's say, my database, right, has three with two log file and one group, whatever, right? Let's just write. Now watch this. Anytime I do insert, update, delete, all that good stuff, right? This is full, right? As this is full, everybody watch this. When this guy becomes full, what must happen? What goes next? What happens next? When this redo log file group, you know it's going to be the groups. Right. All these, they write to simultaneously. Right. When all these are full, what happens next? It's, it's going to prioritize. No, no, no. Well, what happens next? This is full. What, what, what happens next? The Remember CIA. Remember CIA? What's CIA? Uh, uh, Shy stop. What happens it's, next? It's going to write from memory to the actual file. Forget that. What happens when this is full? Does it just stop writing? Mm -hmm. Well, this is the redo log file. Okay. When this guy is full, what happens? He does what? Very good. It starts writing here. The log writer. Right? Okay. Now watch this. When this redo log file is, is full, it has to go to what? The second redo log group. I start writing again. Right? As this guy is writing, it is what we call current. When this guy is writing initially, it's called a current state. Do you understand what I'm saying? So those two uh, uh, files are on standby? No, 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 no. Forget standby right now. I'm just going to this. I'm just going to do on the way things are written. You know, we, we have a we have a database that has a thousand users. Everybody connects the database to insert, update, delete, blah, 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 right? Everybody uses the same redo log file, right? Remember, the purpose of the redo log file does what? It what? It records. Right. Just what I'm saying? No problem. Now watch this. When this guy right here is full, right? It moves on. Right? It moves on to this guy. Right. Then this guy, all your insert, update, deletes, right? It's not storing select. No. It's only storing what? Changes. Change, no, it's, it's recording. Change. Recording, right? The keyword is what? Recording, right? It's recording all the changes that people are making, right? Mm -hmm. This guy is, okay, now, now, now this guy is in the current state. Right. And this guy is what? In the what? Active state, because that's already recorded. This was active state. Mm -hmm. When this guy is full, it comes here again, it starts writing. Now this guy is not like current, this guy is not in active state. Now watch this, watch this. And the third one is when this case. guy gets full, the what first, happens? The first one, if you're in archive low yes, mode, Yes, it does what? Goes to, it, it records if you're in archive. Yes. Yeah, but if it's not, it's just going to drop it and start back on to. Exactly, the close. What happens is this, if your database is in archive log mode, as this guy is writing, right? This guy right here is archiving, is sending copies of the change vectors. All these dots are the change vectors, right? Descriptions of the changes, right? To the what? The archive log file. The archive log file. So all these change vectors inside this guy are being what? Copied to this guy. Do you understand what I'm saying? John, remember that time, right? Cut it there, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Right? Right there, right? So now watch this. Now watch this. Watch this. Being that your database is archive log mode, it's going to send all copies. So now watch this. Once this guy is has finished writing, now it becomes what? Inactive. Now once this guy is full, it can overwrite everything here and stop the whole process all over again. Does everybody understand? Why did I take time to explain the archive logs? The reason why I took time to explain the archive log is simply this. Watch this. In order for you to have a data bar configuration, right? What is it, right? John, actually, not, not quite, right? What is it that we are, at, what is it that is sending the updates? Or let me put it this way. What is the standby database? Or let me let me even say it this way. Uh -oh. <laughs> let me 
Bible say this way? How does the standby, or oh, let me even say it this way, I keep getting it, let me say it this way. How is it that the standby is able to quickly be in sync with the primary database? The archive logs. It is the archive logs, not the redo log, because the redo log are just recordings. It's the archive log, the saved archive logs, right? That is the guy that is being shipped over to the standby database. Now, John. 